Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope that you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I'm going to ask you a question that may seem a bit strange at this time of the year, but that is, how have you been doing with your New Year's resolutions? Remember those? <laughs> Did you know that 80% of all New Year's resolutions fail by January 12th? We let things uh, entice us and move us away. So, you know, somebody um, said that you have to have to do something uh, 21 times, I think it is, in order to establish a new habit. So putting this pressure on yourself at the beginning of January to change your, all your behavior by you know, that week um, is just is just destined to fail. So Anne-Marie Mersham, one of our bloggers, wrote this article on how you can change your behavior um, and in, in, in positive ways, how you can take on new positive ways of doing things in your 60s. Now, you know, after the age of 60, we've kind of got established in a lot of routines and we do things in ways that, you know, that just, I don't know, I, I guess your, your brain just takes the easy way out and just follows routines and patterns that work for it. And I think actually, um, the, by the way, I said 21 days I was looking at my notes here that you have to someone else at Research University of um, London said you have to do something 66 times in order like if you want to do something in a different way you have to repeat it 66 times and some some research shows that it can take you almost a whole year <laughs> to change your behavior so you know I think one thing that I always do is like if you give yourself a um, connection between the thing that you're trying to change and then something that is is good you know just makes you feel good and a reward a kind of a little and also to appreciate the process like that you're doing it rather than you know having the actual outcome so rather than saying i'm not going to celebrate until i've lost 20 pounds you know just say that hey i'm watching my diet i'm, I'm eating more less dairy or more or less carbs or whatever I'm, I'm doing some fasting that's that celebrate that that you actually decided to take some action rather than just to say no i'm going to just keep going till i lose that 25 pounds and like you know two years later <laughs> you're still lose, not losing the 25 pounds so it's identifying specific measurable behaviors that can be rewarded so we don't you know so celebrate the pounds rather than the 20 pounds and also i do things like um i know this is like too much information probably but when i'm doing a video when i'm recording a video i say okay when i finish this video i'm going to sit down and have a cup of coffee and a small piece of chocolate it's a very swiss thing a small piece of chocolate and you know consider um you know, giving myself short-term rewards for things that are just you know i mean i have to get the lights on and do the whole sort of setup for the video and everything and that's my little treat for myself afterwards so consider according to anne uh, marie mersham the best way to well, one of the best ways to establish new changes and habits in your life is to um to actually give yourself short-term rewards for achievements so if you go for a walk, you know, say, okay, I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'm gonna give myself half an hour to sit down and read that book that I've been wanting to read for the last two months. I've been putting it off. Or I'm going to avoid all the sweets today. I'm gonna to just not eat any sugar and then I'm gonna give myself a glass of wine at the end of the day. So in other words, give yourself a short-term reward. So say I'm gonna save, I wanna save 100 pounds or $100 for a vacation. So when you save 10, treat yourself to watch a movie. Not necessarily one that you have to pay for, but you know, you're going to watch a movie or you're going to entertain, you know, listen to a TED talk that you've always wanted to listen to, or maybe just take a little bus ride somewhere. But you know, just again, if you've got a big goal that you know is going to take time, I mean, saving $100 may take you a month if you, if you, are on a fixed budget and you still have the same things to purchase and rent and and, and bills and everything a hundred dollars might be challenging but every time you save five give yourself a little pat on the back do something one gummy bear <laughs> one jelly bean and you know that's kind of I and mean, actually jelly beans in fact are one of my things so you know when you do something good for someone else like say for example that you decide today you're going to send five emails to friends you know people just to say hi it doesn't have to be like a long convoluted conversation. It's just, hey, you know, Sarah, I was just thinking about you today and I wondered how you and your two beautiful boys are doing and, you know, just sending you lots of love. Or, hi, Maureen, I hear that there's been floods up in, you know, in somewhere and hope that you're doing okay, or fires. So I hope that something, everything's okay with you. Thinking about that time that we went to this place and had this experience, 
love market and just do when you do those things it can be a little bit like um you know of effort so then say to yourself okay i'm gonna do my nails i'm gonna manic give myself a manicure or go out and buy a little little uh, thing of uh, nail polish because that's a reasonably inexpensive gift to give yourself something like that if you're tr and then maybe if it's a bigger thing like say for example if you're going to do like pay bills um, okay, I'm going to sit down and pay my bills and then I'm going to have a binge of watching my favorite show on Netflix. You know, go to the gym, give yourself a smoothie. You, you get the idea. You understand that like it's just like the big things that you're trying to change, um, you know, are the ones that you can reward yourself with the small things. Um, and then set a long term reward for the big, bigger things. So if you say, for example, that you're trying to lose 30 pounds. You're trying to lose 30 pounds, but I mean, it's going to take you, if, even if you lose three pounds a month, that's a year. And so at the end of the year, you might, you know, just give yourself a little vacation or do something really big. But what about stopping midway, like about when you lose five pounds or 10 pounds and just go buy yourself something in a smaller size? You know, instead of buying a large t-shirt, just go to a medium and just try that, you know, that feeling that you've made a difference. You know, you've moved towards that 30 pound goal, but hey, Five is, is good. <laughs> um, or another example is um, if you are trying to quit smoking or you're trying to quit uh, eating a lot of carbs, again, give yourself like a little, um, you know, it's a party or concert or, and it doesn't have to be in person. I just, um, a few minutes, a few uh, days ago, um, signed up for, it was an all you can eat <laughs> or all you can watch um, ballet. The London uh, Opera or La La School of Ballet is, is, do is doing this program. Their students want to perform and they can't perform at this moment, but um, maybe because of the, of the pandemic, but they're going to uh, basically offer a ticket where you can just watch everything. And the cool thing was they had uh, ballet for kids as well. So whenever I see my grandson Max, he actually quite likes ballet. We're gonna there's a I think it's Peter and the Wolf, where it's you know one of these little ballets that's a child's um, at level, and he even likes Swan Lake. We've actually talked about Swan Lake, but you know so that's just a small thing. I think it cost me thirteen dollars or thirteen francs for the um, the whole thing for like any number of I think fifteen or so different programs. But there's so much going on like that. If you if you've discovered something by the way, let us know. <laughs> Because, I mean, these videos are here just to inspire you to make changes in your life. You know, and I, I talk about things, you know, based on, on an article from my, our blogger, but you may just have discovered completely by yourself how you've managed to bring change into your life through some reward. Um, what is another way she gives? Um, oh yeah, learning a new language. That's a big one. If you can, if you say, I really want to go to Paris, Okay, so learn a new language, and at the end, when you can speak reasonably well, then go ahead and buy that ticket, or save for the ticket using the other technique. I know some of these things are kind of unrealistic for a lot of people, but I think most people, if you really want something, you can make some cuts and, and uh, adjustments to your expend expenses and get that thing that you really want. So I guess according to Anne, and I think she's totally right, is that everything's possible. You know, everything that you want in life is possible, and every change that you want to make is possible. The one um, thing she does say, though, is to not use food as a reward. And I, I mentioned earlier my chocolate thing that, I mean, that's kind of like literally like one little bit of chocolate or one little jelly bean. But don't say, you know, if I just do this and this, I'm going to have cheesecake. Knowing that one of your other goals is that you don't want to have, you know, 500 calorie uh, dessert in front of you. But you know what I'm saying? It's like just, you know, be careful about the rewards that you give yourself. Give give yourself food if it's like a little treat, little jelly beans or, or candy or, or chocolate uh, or coffee. Something that, you know, you know is something that you just really want to hold back on to. But then just do the thing that, um, you know, that gives you that little bit of motivation. Uh, don't ruin your in, your efforts with inappropriate award, rewards. And that kind of goes together. And what else is it? Yeah, so rewards might be the ticket, maybe not. Is it worked for you? <laughs> would you con what would you consider a great reward for like losing 30 pounds or for, you know, making breaking a habit of not going out and exercising or, um, you know, just not, not making contact with friends? What is a, what is a habit? Think about your New Year's resolution. Go back to that. What, what did you resolve to do and how can you reward yourself now for doing it? We've still got a few months left in this year. Half the year is still ahead. You can still start again. Do a mid-year uh, mid um, resolution. 
And if you want some help, actually, 60 and Me, we have a supporters group on Patreon, patreon.com slash 60 and Me. And we have a smaller group of women there that get together. We have uh, like exclusive videos and also private um, live shows. And we talk about stuff like this there. It might, if you need a little motivation, that might be a good thing to join. So just check it out. It's Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com slash 60 and Me. And we'd love to have you there. Some real good friendships are being made too, which is interesting. There's a siren coming, so I apologize for that in advance. But um, living in the city, yeah? You know that sound. Okay, we'll wait for it to pass. But anyway, also I was gonna say thank you for watching this video. And if you did enjoy it and you want to uh, you know, watch more, we do four videos every week. So just subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate that. And also put that, press the notification bell because then you'll know when new videos are being released. And um, you know, at a minimum, give me a thumbs up for this video because that enables YouTube by its magical algorithms to share with other women. So it's, it's, you're doing, giving them a gift if you enjoyed this, this video. Okay, everybody, we'll take good care. Have a wonderful day wherever you are and sending you lots and lots of love. Bye-bye for now.